So today I wanted to tell you all about the new pattern that Sirena Patterns just recently released. This is the Janus tunic and it's actually a pattern that I had tested. So we're gonna get into all of the details. I'm gonna tell you all about this pattern and the new expanded sizing. Yes, this pattern goes up to a 6X. Hi, I'm Mari with Mari Sews, and thanks for hanging with me, you all. So the Janus Tunic by Sirena Patterns is their newest pattern release, and it comes with a nice expanded size range, which we'll get to in a second. Now this pattern is described as having a cap sleeve, which I would actually consider a bit more of a grown-on sleeve. Um, it definitely has a bit of that dolman feel to the top itself. It has a curved neckline, and then it also has a dropped waist with a really cool um, knot detail down on the side of the hip. It's really adorable. And you can make this as either a tunic or a dress. So you get the two different options with this pattern. Now let's get into some of the sizing with this pattern. This pattern runs from an extra small all the way up to a 6X, which is wonderful. And the hip, the largest hip measurements for the 6X is 65 inches, which is actually a really, a really great range. This pattern is offered in two different size ranges. So it's offered in the extra small to extra large, and then it's offered in the extra large to 6X. And the reason for that is actually because the hip block for the larger size range is different than it is for the smaller size range, which I actually really appreciate because, well, you just can't grade up small, smaller pattern sizes all the way up to a 6X because you get all kinds of wonky proportions. So you really have to be mindful about where the curves are hitting in the patterns. And I think Tommy got the, she, she just got him right on this one. What do you think about the different pattern blocks and the sizing ranges when they're done that way? Let me know in the comments. So let me just show you a picture over here of the version that I made. So I made a size 2X and I graded to a 3X at my hips. My measurements when I made this tunic was a 45 inch bust, 36 inch waist, and 51 inch hips. And let me tell you, there is nothing that is clingy about this pattern. In fact, it was actually described as being, I believe, a looser fitting top top portion and then when it hit the hips it was more fitted which is actually a silhouette that i appreciate because i think it looks really flattering and it gives well it gives the badunk a bit of a, a chance to shine if you've been following me for a little bit you know that i i just love to give my badunk a bit of a chance to shine you can tell from the pictures that i made the tunic length and let me tell you this top was really easy to put together. And actually I have it right here to tell you a little bit about. There were a few pattern pieces and I made this entire thing on my serger. And one of the things that I would do a little differently the next time that I sew this is, well, I would actually follow the instructions and hem this portion before I sew the top together. For some reason, I just had in my mind that I was gonna do it after the fact, but let me tell you, after you have this knot all sewn up at this seam right here, sewing this portion, or actually hemming it, is pretty difficult. Now this is a knit, so it's not gonna unravel and it's not gonna look all kinds of crazy. So I'm not too worried about this version, but I would do that a little differently. In fact, the next version that I make, I'll um, use some wonder tape to hem it, which is basically just this double-sided tape that you can put along the hem and you fold it up under and it washes away. So that'll definitely make it a lot easier and make it so that way if you're using a lighter knit, you're not getting a lot of that waviness. Now, you can see here at, with this picture right here that Tommy is in, she decided to put a lettuce hem 
on the bottom of her actual knot area. Well, the entire hem is the lettuce hem, which I think is really cute. So if that's a look that you're willing to go for, I think go ahead and do it. You can do it very easily on your serger, and then you won't have to worry about flipping over a hem. You can also do a rolled hem on either your serger or your sewing machine, but my preferred method is using the quarter inch tape, so that way I get a nice, flat, smooth hem. So hopefully, hopefully that's a bit of something for you to think about if you're going to be making this pattern. And by the way, if you're finding these tips helpful, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so that way you know the next time that there's a new video, you'll get more tips. Let's talk about the fabric that I actually used to make my top. So this fabric was gifted to me, but I know where it came from. This fabric came from Fabric Mart. Unfortunately, they don't have any more of this, but it's just a very large scaled, knit that has some really good stretch to it and I've got more <laughs> so it has really good two-way stretch not so much four-way stretch but that's okay because all you need is for it to stretch horizontally to give you a little bit of a comfy space right yeah overall I really like this top I really do I think it was quick and easy to put together. The instructions were very clear and the expanded size ranges for me was just great. Plus, I feel that it just, it flows, it just, it fits the hips so nicely. I mean, it, it did not feel too snug or anything at any point, which is definitely a plus. I think I'm gonna be making a couple more for the summer, so don't get mad at me if you see, if you see different versions of this top pop up in my feeds. <laughs> and don't forget to check the description box below for the links to this pattern, as well as a coupon code that you can use to get 10% off if this pattern is right up your alley. And if you enjoy this pattern review, please check out this one right over here, which is my last pattern review that I did on the Magna Pants by Cashmere. Full disclosure, I had a couple problems with it. So check out that video right over there. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.